So quick update on the Senate and House races. You're probably aware that we are waiting at any moment to get news on the Cortez Masto versus Lax Salt race in Nevada, which if the Republicans win, would mean we're headed to the Georgia runoff in December, which would then determine the fate of the Senate. And if that were to be the case, Democrats would have to win that runoff. You know, uh, Warnock would have to defeat Herschel Walker in order to maintain a 50-50 tie with Kamala Harris breaking the tie. But if Cortez Masto can win the Nevada Senate seat, she's the incumbent, she would hang on to it, this would give the Democratic Party 50 already, and then if Warnock were to win, it would be 51. So effectively, we get news tonight that the flow is in her direction. The race may be over in terms of the Senate would remain in Democratic control. But here's the thing. When I look at the two charts, once again, no birth time for either person. However, what I notice about Laxalt's chart is that he's a Virgo with Saturn near the sun. More importantly, Virgo is ruled by Mercury. And his Mercury is in the 21 degree range of Leo. That's directly in the path of a Saturn opposition from Aquarius. Saturn has already crossed through there. Now it's inching its way toward opposing it again. That is not really the kind of aspect you want at a moment when you're seeking a victory. In contrast, Ortez Masto has a whole slew of planets in Aries. That it's a lot more positive. The sun and other planets, including Jupiter. Now, you've heard me say that in Biden's case, Jupiter having retrograded into Pisces is really good because he has late planets in Scorpio, he gets a trine and so forth. But this wouldn't work nearly as well if the Aries part of the cycle, which is where Jupiter was from May until November, and will be there again from January until January 23, until May 23, all of that is very favorable for Biden as well. So the entire period is really good. It just so happens that now in November, it's especially good. But for Portez Masto, just being in the Aries region is really good because Jupiter is moving in there. Jupiter has already been there. So you call it based on that. Therefore, in my opinion, this is almost certainly to go in her direction and will likely have control of the Senate as of tonight, either because it's declared or because it just seems pretty obvious that the remaining ballots that are outstanding are moving in her direction. In terms of the House, less is known because there are all these races that are being counted. Still, many can go on for days to even as much as two to three weeks because they count very slowly in Nevada and especially California. However, I don't know if you noticed that Whirling Dervish, Steve Kornacki of MSNBC, keeps moving the numbers up such that now, instead of being an expected 220 to 212, suddenly it's 219 to 216 in the expectations game with a plus or minus four. This to me feels like, you know, you keep hearing the house is inching toward the GOP. Yeah, but the them seem to be inching toward a comeback. Given the fact that every day that passes, we get closer to the Jupiter station. So this is good news. And once again, I'll say to people, we may lose this really close, but hang in there. It ain't over till it's over. And I certainly would advise Kevin McCarthy that he's being a little bit premature if he's already measuring the drapes. I think we need to wait a little bit longer to see where this is going to end up. And I'm still holding out hope that we will have both the Senate and the House.